Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and this time we are going to take a trip in our mint-flavored time machine back to the year 1993. People talk about the movies that made me. This is one of those for me. My review of the 1993 uh, sci-fi action film, Jurassic Park, coming up now. A group of scientists and paleontologists are invited to a preview tour of a theme park on the tropical island of Isla Nublar by industrialist John Hammond that has succeeded in cloning dinosaurs. The visitors, including Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Ian Malcolm's minds are blown when they see that the dinosaurs are real. Hammond's nephew, Dennis Nedry, the park's head computer programmer, has been bribed by Hammond's corporate rival to steal dinosaur embryos, and while he's in the progress, deactivates the park's security system, which allows the dinosaurs to escape their enclosures. The park's guests soon find themselves face-to-face -face with ferocious carnivores, such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and must try to escape the island. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So what did I think of Jurassic Park? I thought it's an incredible sci-fi action film. It's based on the book of the same name by Michael Crichton, who also co-wrote the screenplay. It's directed by Steven Spielberg, of course, who at the time was known for his humongous hits such as Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Indiana Jones series, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, and The Color Purple. Spielberg also directed Schindler's List the same year as this. Jurassic Park opened on June 11, 1993 and was a gigantic hit with both audiences and critics. I'll never forget seeing this movie on its opening night at five years old in the front row right next to the speaker. It's honestly one of the experiences that made me love movies so much all these years later. It's a film I've seen so many times over the years that I know it by heart. The dinosaurs here look fantastic with all the with at the time groundbreaking technology and viewers are amazed right along with the characters the first time that they see the Brachiosaurus and the actors reactions to the creatures are just brilliant. There are so many iconic scenes containing the dinosaurs, from the baby velociraptor being born in the hatchery, the T-Rex escaping her paddock and chasing the characters, a game of fetch with a Dilophosaurus, and the raptors chasing the kids in the kitchen. For me, these moments still give me the chills and never get old. There's a ton of suspense and thrills throughout, and something that the sequels have had trouble with is making these dinosaurs scary. And towards the end of the original film, it really does become a horror movie. As a kid, I had to close my eyes at certain points as I thought certain things were terrifying. Between the thrills, there are a number of iconic, funny lines, mostly from Ian Malcolm, that are hysterical. There's also a sweet subplot of Alan Grant having a hard time relating to children, and he's put in these situations with Hammond's grandkids where he's forced to save them and begins to bond with them. The film's score by the legendary John Williams is fantastic as well, and really adds to these famous scenes. The cast is perfect in their roles, starring Sam Neill as Dr. Alan Grant, one of the world's most renowned paleontologists who specializes in velociraptors, Laura Dern as Dr. Ellie Sattler, the paleobotanist who's Grant's partner, Jeff Goldblum as Dr. Ian Malcolm, the mathematician who specializes in chaos theory, Richard Attenborough as Dr. John Hammond, the wealthy owner of Jurassic Park and founder of InGen, Bob Peck as Robert Maldoon, the park's game warden, Samuel L. Jackson as Ray Arnold, the park's chief engineer, Wayne Knight as Dennis Nedry, the disgruntled head computer programmer and Hammond's nephew, and Joseph Mazzello and Ariana Richards as Tim and Lex Murphy, Hammond's grandkids. 
The film was nominated and won three Academy Awards for Best Visual Effects, Best Sound, and Best Sound Effects Editing. In 2018, the film entered the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Spectacular dinosaurs, exciting and frightening, Jurassic Park is a masterpiece and will always be one of my all-time favorite films. Number-wise, this is pretty obvious, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, and Letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.